Happy Thanksgiving. Hi, on this episode of Tweaks with Tweak, we're going to make a turkey. And what's better than having a turkey at Thanksgiving? Having two, or in this case, three. Join us. This is Tweak. I was rummaging around looking for my fall decorations and I had a really cute door hanger that I didn't quite pack away as I should have. It got damaged. So I was looking through online to see if I could replace it and I thought, you know what? I've got a lot of cardboard around. I will make my own. So I'm going to make a turkey door hanger. The supplies you'll need for this project are some cardboard, an X-Acto knife, a pair of scissors, some hot glue, acrylic paints of your choice, some varnish, and two googly eyes. We begin with a piece of cardboard. Now I want a piece that's about half the size of this. I'm not going to do measuring for this. It's all by looks. I want a piece about the size of my turkey body. So I'm going to make a cut. Very simple. Look at that. Done. Save that piece for later. So I just made up a pattern. I made up a pattern that looks to me like a bowling ball that's really fat on the bottom. That's going to be the turkey body. His feathers on the side are just going to be, think of it as like teardrops. I cut out two of those, one for each side. Then I cut out a beak and the gobbly thing that goes along their nose. So that's going to be the body of my turkey. The part that ends up being a little more fun is the turkey feathers. I begin with a large feather it's going to go down the middle. This is going to be the main feather that holds everything else together. And I'm going to fix that first to the base. So let's do that. Get out the glue gun. I'm going to come oh, a little bit, not quite to the edge of the board. And I'm just eyeballing halfway in. And I'm going to glue that down. We have our first feather. I've got a bunch of feathers that I cut out here. And we're just going to advance down and fan it out and glue it on. I'm going to do one feather at a time. So I've got the next feather. I'm just going to glue where he's going to meet the other feather, where the, where the two boards meet. And then whatever gap you leave there, as long as you make this other one match. And I'm just eyeballing it. Another thing I did is I cut out the cardboard. You can see this cardboard had, it's not very thick, but it has lines running through it. If you can see that. This one has vertical lines. This one I cut so they're horizontal lines. So as I go through with my feathers, there's horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. And it just looks better when you get done painting. It just has a neat look to it. We're going to get a fan tail effect on the bottom that is really fun to use as under feathers. Every single turkey you do is going to turn out differently. It ends up having a lovely 3D effect too. Okay. Now we're at three, six, seven. I'm going to go one more. Now this last one is going to be a little shorter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two pieces and give it a cut so that they meet in the center rather than making another level. I'm just pulling some of the length off the last feather. Yeah, I want this one to be about the same length. I am going to make them match. So these two pieces I'm going to place, they don't have to be touching tight, but get them as close as you can. We're just going to use this part here will be where the body attaches. Okay, and then measure up where I want my feathers to be. They're the last two. They come down a little bit underneath the feather above them. And there we go. Here's what we've got so far. Okay, it's going to be a pretty big door hanger. It's going to look real great when we get them done. Next, we put on the body. This is very cool. I'm liking this one. Just lay down a lot of glue. Lots and lots and lots of glue. Okay, you're just going to eyeball it. Bring his body a little bit down. You have a place to put the feet and press. Now, to that, I attach the little wings that I had cut out. Remember the teardrop shape. Left and right. For whatever reason, I put a left and right on here. I'm just going to have them sticking out just a little bit on each side. There's one. 
I am going to try to meet them at the neck if I can. One, and this one. It's easier to put the glue on the body than it is to try to figure out how the wings are going to lay, so that's just an easier way to do it. Here we've got, we've got the wings. So far, so good. The head. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like a J. And that's going to be the tricky gobbler part. And I'm going to put that down first because then I place the beak over the top and then you get another 3D dimension going on there. So this time it's going to put some on the turkey gobbler. No more. And I'm just going to place it where I think I like it. And right there is good. Then I've got a little triangle. That's his beak. It's going to be whatever size you want it to be. I'm going to let's see. I want to put the smooth side out. So I'm just going to put some glue at the end of that gobbler spot. And I'm just going to place the beak on. Now we've got eyeballs coming, but we got to do those after we paint. Because here comes the fun part, the painting. But before I do that, I need to make some feet. What I'm going to do is use a piece of random cardboard I had kicking around, leftover piece. Before you cut, always put down something to protect the surface of the table or wherever you're working. Um, instead of winging this, I think I'm going to give myself a little bit of guidance. Um, I want two feet sticking out, and they can be a part of the same. Oh, this is good. I'm using the pointy end, and I'm going to, let me see, turkey. I like that that's hanging out. So I'm going to just draw a couple of feet, and I'm just drawing triangles. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to start cutting, and if we don't like it, we can do it again. Okay, cut. Just insert the knife and pull hard and straight, because the harder you pull, the better edges are going to be with that. See? Okay. Take these feet and I'm going to attach them. And then we're going to start painting. Lay a lot of glue and just put it right underneath his belly, whatever angle you want. I'm just pushing it straight up and I'm going to let it set. Okay, now this makes me laugh. I'm really liking what I see here. <laughs> Look at how cute he's going to be. Let me get rid of all this riffraff and I want to do one more thing before we start painting and that's to pull down the back a little bit. And I'm going to do that with the scissors. Look at this. We're going to use the back to hang our cord. And our turkey's constructed. Now comes the really fun part, and it's the painting, the part I love. Here we go. There's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. I'm going with the rainbow. So red. Let's start with red. I'm going to use the plate because I want his body to be a gray color. So when I get done doing the feathers, I'm going to mix all the colors together, and that will be his body color. I'm thinking it'll work. It'll be interesting to see how it turns out. So just put something protective down in case you splash your paint, and just start with the first feather. Here we go. Red. I'm going to duplicate the color on each side. This acrylic paint works really well on cardboard. Probably why I like to use it so much. I'm going to combine what's left on the plate to make his basic body color. I'm not going to waste the paint, so what happens when we mess it all up together? I'm going to start right a little bit underneath the googly part of his neck. And just see, that's a very pleasant color. Let's do his head. i take some bright pink and I'll tone it down with some brown, I think. Let's see how this is going to go. Some pink with a little bit of copper. What's going to happen? Said if I like the color. Let's see. Mmm. Kind of an off pink. Trying to get up underneath the beak a little bit. Okay. Careful. 
careful, careful. Who would have thought bright neon pink and copper makes this perfect turkey head color? Okay, and then to get the gobbly part there, I'm gonna add a little more copper to make it just a little bit darker than what his head is. A little more copper here. I'm going to mix some yellow, pinky yellowy browny feet. So let's see what happens when I do this. Let's try it out on his feet. I think that's going to be okay. Yeah. And quit putzing and leave it alone. And that's what I shall do. Now his, do have enough for the beak? Let's see if we have enough for the beak. I'm just going along the top, not the sides. Got his beak done, good. Now let's think about the, the wings here. I've got some brown and this melony yellow color. It ends up being a lighter brown is all. I don't know, let's see what it looks like. Actually it looks just fine. Hmm, I like it. Didn't plan on it, but there it is. Take some googly eyes. You can use tiny ones, or you can use big ones. Let's see how it looks, because I haven't really decided. Do we want to use tiny eyes or do we want to use big eyes? Your tiny, tiny eyes look like that. <laughs> it's funny. Somewhere, or I think I'm going to go with the big eyes. A little more impact. Eyes make sure they, they shake before I put them down. Okay, yeah. And where do you want to put it? <laughs> I'm going to go to the sides. The turkey eyes are on the sides of their heads, so I'm going to go for the edges there. Put a little bit of glue, you don't need a whole lot. And lay down the eyeball. That should set up in a second. And try to get this one a little close. Lay that one down. He's got his eyes. Now I would say to start varnishing, that's when colors all really pop. But I want to do one more thing. I want to make some feathers on his front there using my finger. This will be fun. So I'm going to use some green. He's got a green body there. So he's going to use some of this iridescent green. And I'm going to take a little bit of copper and let's see what happens. Doesn't look like I want it to look. We'll just redo it again. So I'm going to take my finger and pump it into the color and I'm going to go finger, 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 finger. Finger, finger. I've got this gold color here that I want to use. Why? I don't know. I just think he needs something. So I'm going to again put out some of the gold. Not as much this time. I'm just going to touch and I'm just going to touch. I say I don't stop until it looks right to me. I'm really liking this. Ooh, okay. Now I'm going to say Stop, full stop. I do like Mr. Turkey. Um, we're going to varnish him and that will make all the colors pop and will protect him from the elements should he get wet. Although I would hang him in a very protective spot. And it'll work top down in case I dribble, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna pour it right on and start working it in. He's all ready to go. I need to find a way to hang him. So I'm gonna take a piece of pipe cleaner, very carefully turn him over. I'm gonna poke a hole into the cardboard. Turn it around a few times. One of the reasons why I wanted a backing on the turkey so we could make an easy hanger. You could use a wire or you, you could use yarn. You could use some thread or even some cord or string or wire. Now I have a nice way to hang him. Ah, 
all ready to be hung on your door. What a wonderful welcome. And there you have it. It's Mr. Turkey, ready to be the welcome you need hanging on your door. So if you've liked what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment. I'd love to see if you made one of these for yourself. Well, that's one more thing to be thankful for, isn't it? See you again. Mm -hmm.